chunk, dude. Today we're gonna be using the magical invention called a computer to test out the brand new Jeff Loomis Tone Forge plugin. Now, I'm stoked because Jeff Loomis is an absolute insane guitarist, you know, with the brrrrs and the all that stuff. And his tones are always on point. So the fact that there's actually a Jeff Loomis tone plugin, I'm the excite. Okay, and I thought it'd be a fun idea to really test out the crispiness of this plugin by using it to try to create some of the most wanted types of metal tones out there. So the first type of tone we're gonna be trying to go for is actually a melodic death metal type tone. So we want a good nice high gain amp, a good amount of highs for some <laughs> some nice hiss, some mids, and a good amount of clarity for all those chordal shapes as well as you know the faster paced stuff, the tremolo stuff, all that. So we have the plugin open right here. Let's just see how it sounds, all right? Let's get the opening chug, right? Oh, okay. I like, I like to kind of just start with a preset and go for there, see what works best. So we got a lot of Jeff Loomis stuff, um, Bogren uh, presets, rhythm clean, uh, rhythm lead clean, some Joey Sturgis stuff, uh, more Joey Sturgis stuff, rhythm lead clean, staff picks, and demo songs. Honestly, let's just go with the super big rhythm, start that off. Um, I want a bit of a gate going. There you go. Wow, just even that kind of sounds good on its own. Um, Maybe a slight bit more mids. Um, treble, treble, treble's kind of good where it's at. The gain seems pretty good too. What about the pedals? Oh, the pedals aren't even on. Here, let's bring up the gate a bit. Let's see what if we turn the pedals on. Oh, that is it, it's crushing. Um, and then some EQ, right? So we got a nice EQ here. I like that. You know, I, this is a basic chain, right? Boost pedal, comp, amp, cab. Um, effects if you want to throw them in, EQ, and then what's this? Ooh, dynamic EQ. Okay, that's fun too. Yeah, so it makes it those chugs are a little, little nicer, less like a boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's, it, it, it hurts. The mid, I'd, I'd bring some more mid. I'd maybe tie back some of the treble, even some of the presence. Um, the gain is great where it's at. That's only at 40%, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a good amount of clarity from those chords. Again, I'd actually bring the mids maybe a little bit up, um, treble slightly down. Yeah, I like that. It's a good, it smacks, it's like, hello, I am early 2000s, but also I really sit in the mix. You know, the tone, it talks. Now it wouldn't be a true Nick video unless I disappointed every metal boomer out there by mentioning core in some way. So we're gonna be trying to make a metal core tone. Of course, we want a nice high gain amp. We want a good high end, you know, frequency range going on there. We want some good lows that aren't too muddy. And we want the mids, we're, we're gonna do something fun with the mids. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna start with the default, you know. You know, no preset for this one because I want to be a little bit more specific with what we're going here. So let's see. Let's get the treble, treble rocking, and the presence. Bring the gain up. Definitely a good start. Mid's a bit lower. Um, let's go over here. So the the max on, you know, the, or sorry, the green pedal, absolutely needed for this. We're gonna max the tone, keep the drive down. It's it's like a magic button. I, it's, it's hilarious. Just good chunk. It's, it's literally just, it's, it's the easy button, you know, from, um, Staples or whatever office Depot. I don't know. It's, it's all the same. Okay. Really good start. Um, uh, just need some EQ fun, really. So we're gonna take a bit of that 500 out and not too much cause we don't want to get it hidden in the mix. You know, there's gonna be guitars and drums and, and, uh, and the computer bass, whatever you want to call it. Uh. 
The only thing you need in life is breakdowns. All right, for this one, we're gonna do a really popular style called binary. Um, basically, really simple. Don't even worry about the other strings. Just take your lowest string and just go as low as you can go without it feeling like you are kind of shattering the earth with rubble, okay? So. Yeah, that's that that that's okay. I want to be you know decently reasonable. Um, so we're just gonna take this rhythm tone, and it's gonna have a good amount of mids, um, a good amount of high end punch, not a lot of lows, because you know the uh, infinite drop Z tuning is gonna take care of that. And then we're also gonna do a nice little uh, kind of iconic boost at around 1300 hertz, right? So let's see. That already sounds pretty solid, but um, let's bring the mids up, the treble, the presence too. Bring the bass down. Oh yes, it's it's yes, it's doing it. Bring them actually a little, just a little bit of bass, a little, little bit. Um, we have the oh, we don't have the. There we go, there we go. We have the the uh, not Max and OD going now. Compressor, just smash it, just smash it to all oblivion, and then EQ. This is what I'm talking about here. So around. Yeah, I have 1500's fine. I wish it could be more exact, but sure, like 1500. Get a bit of this nice um, boost. You also want to crank the gate because you kind of never want to actually hear the notes you're playing because that's just not as fun. There you go. There's some gent. One of my favorite things to actually do when trying out a new plugin is try to get a nice, clean, ambient tone, you know? Because if the plugin can go do all the roars, like, and all that, make all that good chunk noise, you should also be able to, you know, ascend to the heavens with all that stuff, all right? So we have the clean channel here. Let's just kind of see how it sounds. Uh... Okay, that's fun. That's a good starting point. Let's go. Um, clarity, what does this do? Add some clarity. It seems like it's doing some kind of EQ uh, EQ cut again. Okay, sweet. So we got some lows, mids, highs. Ooh. Fair enough, nice starting. I like. Um, a lot of this stuff, because it's going to be an ambient tone, is going to have to do with the effects. I still want to have a nice clean bass tone because then you can use that for any kind of clean tone. And an ambience is really just the bass clean tone, but you smack the reverb and delay. Echo man, I like it. Oh God, reverb with a lot of options here, which is great. You know, always love my ambient options. And then we just have simple echo delay. So let's start with the reverb with this. Um, turn it on and let's mess with a few of these. See, see what kind of fun atmospheres we can create. So um, uh, calming. Blood. Okay. Didn't know we were going straight to to Satan with this one. Oh, that's quite lovely. That's not bloody at all. That's like bandagey. Um, let's get the echo going now. So, oh, the echo's already going. No, I think it might. Have been. Anyways, let's uh, let's increase it. And make it much more. Um, you know, tick 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 ticking. If you ever want to actually pretend you're good in front of people instead of just playing smoke on the water, get some kind of crazy, you know, reverb, delay, ambient tone going, and you'll just, you'll sound so good by just like pressing like two notes. Pro tips with Nick. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's very ascending. I feel like I am part of the clouds. Lead tone. Now, you can't spell lead without good dis distortion plugin. Okay, so we're basically gonna just be going for a nice rhythm tone with a, with a good amount of, you know, balance, I would kind of say. And then as long as that sounds pretty decent, just shove some reverb, shove some delay on it. It'll be good to go. So we're gonna start over here with the lead channel because, you know, leads. Um, let's try to get a solid rhythm bass first and then we're gonna add all that, that fun. Um, we want that 808 kind of be thrown in there. Just a bit, a bit of that nice. 
saturation extra just to, to, to boom it out. Uh, presence a bit more. And um, yeah, let's see. Um, so I'd add a bit more, I'd say gain, some good gain. Um, maybe the shred button, let's bring the gate up actually as well. Get rid of that background noise. Uh. Okay, let's uh, let's add some delay, some reverb, and see how fun we can make this. Uh, let's just do a re uh, a room uh, reverb. Oh, I I should turn it on. Haha, <laughs> good job, Nick. Oh, now I feel like I am a year away. And then the delay. Let's turn this on. Cool. Yeah, let's bring the mix on that down <laughs> quite a bit. Um, the tone's fine. The time, uh, one one eighth. Yeah. That's good. I'm not playing the wrong notes because it's jazz. Oh, yeah, I like that. I feel like that could melt some serious faces. Well, there you go, guys. That was the Tone Forge Jeff Loomis plugin. Now, I, of course, have nowhere near his insane guitar skills or his long, luscious hair, but I hope I did all right, and I hope you guys enjoyed the noises we created today. I have some final thoughts, I'll say. I'm very surprised at the versatility of this plugin. You can play anything, really, with it. You know, metalcore or other genres that probably exist. And even though it's simplistic in terms of having everything you need as a guitarist, like the gates, the drive pedal, you know, the effects and all that, you can do a lot of tweaking, which really just kind of makes it so you can make it your own. Anyways, guys, if you like this plugin, be sure to check it out. Link in description below. Show them the love. It's a fun one. It's got the chunky sounds, and it's it's good. It makes the, the burr, burr, burr noises, okay? And of course, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and comment your thoughts on this plugin. Should I do more gear reviews? I've been doing them a bit more. They're fun to do. You know, it's important to stay updated with what is cool and the hip in the in the pluck pluck world, but let me know. And of course, I want to give a special thanks to a few of my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. If you self interested in becoming a Patreon, can access to a bunch of cool perks. Like Traffic talks and much more. There's going to be a link on the screen description down below. If you watch more videos, make sure to click right over here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Sorry.